Hi, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack, and my co-host Athena is having breakfast, which is what I get for recording these first thing in the morning. I am decked out in my KomoriCon bullshit today, because these are two mainstays of action anime, and I really should go and watch them. Uh, I mean, everyone knows the memes from Fist of the North Star, and... Um, Jojo, I know, is incomprehensible, basically. It's about family members in an increasingly bizarre, well, yeah, uh, uh, situations. And there's vampires, and there's 80s music, and there's characters named Oingo and Boingo, which alone should mean I should watch it. <laughs> yeah, I've never gotten around to. Uh, from what I understand, there's a character named Rohan who has the same power as Realm from Final Fantasy VI. So, alright. Okay, so let's get into this. Anime! I've got my... We've covered a lot of macho heroes here on Death Battle, but these two are as manly and stoic as they come. It's all in those sweet-ass jackets. I mean, I guess they're pretty badass, too. Jotaro Kujo, the delinquent turned hero from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm, and delinquent Kenichiro, not gonna be the stoic. wandering fist of the North Star. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. We haven't had a CG one this entire season. As a teenager, Jotaro Kujo was a fairly infamous troublemaker. <laughs> but you can just call him Jojo like his friends do. Get it? Jotaro Kujo? How... Bizarre. Well, being a high school hoodlum isn't usually a good idea. <laughs> it it works out music. great for him, because he toughed up a lot. At the age of 17, Jotaro was arrested for brutally Profession marine biologists. Who were armed with knives and nunchucks of all things, with apparently his bare fists. But Jotaro had a bigger problem. He didn't know how he did it. He knew he was tough. She just looks more surprised tough, so by these things. So he came to the only conclusion that makes sense. He was possessed by an evil spirit. Oh. <laughs> just like my pet rat. Yeah, wait, is that why he's been scratching pentagrams all over his cage? That guy's we'll got Balrog's haircut. But then Jotaro did something absolutely crazy. To prove his theory, he swiped a police officer's gun, pointed it straight at his head, and fired. And that's how he died. Just kidding. A third arm popped out of his body to stop the bullet, of course. This the third arm is what grabbed the gun. Jotaro wasn't an evil spirit at all. It's an entity physically generated by Jotaro himself and inherited cool. through his bloodline. Yeah, lots of the Jojo family has them, including his granddad, Joseph. These beings are called stands, literally because they stand by you. Ugh. I mean, I guess it's not wrong. It's so lame. Stands are powered by their user's life force. And turns out Jotaro's life force is supercharged because nice. he's got one of the strongest stands of all, Star Platinum. Star Platinum has superhuman strength, speed, precision, and talented vision. photorealistic he can even artists. He through bodies and affect a person's inner organs. Plus, while Star Platinum can take a solid hit, most stands can only be damaged by other stands or stand users. So he's basically Most. invincible unless he's fighting another stand? Exactly. In fact, unless you have a stand of your own, you wouldn't even be able to see Star Platinum. Oh great, so he's invincible and invisible. And when you combine all that with Chotro's fighting skills and exceptional cleverness, they make mm. a magnificent team. That's good, because Jotaro soon found out his family's old vampire nemesis was out to get him. <laughs> It was really weird, With Star yes. Platinum at his side, Jotaro didn't just stand up to Dio, he copied Dio's greatest ability, the Time Stop. With Neat. this new power, Star Platinum so can where do steam rollers come into it? for five seconds. He can do it multiple times, though it does need a sort of this restart increased over uses. Time. Kind of like an ability cooldown in a video game, or me in the bedroom, ladies. <laughs> but still, he can friggin' stop time! In Jotaro's Sounds cool. case, he may be human, but he's strong enough to smash through stone and leap several stories. On the other hand, Star Platinum is Reality said to be faster than overdrive. light. Reality overdrive. Sure. 
Technically, he can because he can stop time or whatever, but he can't really move that fast normally, right? Well, maybe. Star Platinum maybe? has matched his speed with another stand called Silver Chariot. Silver Chariot previously defeated a different stand called Hanged Man. Long story short, Hanged Man moves between reflections and light Okay, speed, so that's the tarot Silver stuff that they were showing. Granted, Silver Chariot had to use an elaborate plan to force Hanged Man into moving in a predictable direction. If Silver Chariot was truly faster than light, he wouldn't have needed to resort to such a plan. But the fact See. he caught Hanged Man at all is proof enough that he's at least close to light speed. So that means Star Platinum is close to light speed too. And he's got the super strength to back up his super speed. He can lift a steamroller that's around 60 tons. He broke the top power. of this building off and threw it like a javelin. And then there's the time that he broke that a giant monster lady's teeth that were harder than diamonds. The cool. definition of hardness refers to an object's protection from scratches. But we could also compare this to pressure resistance or the possibility of fracture through a diamond's cleavage. <laughs> Not that kind of cleavage. <clears throat> you knew he was gonna! This means Star Platinum can clearly strike with a force equivalent to 3 million tons. Turns out diamonds aren't forever when Star Platinum's around. What can't this guy do? Yeah. <clears throat> Relativistic speeds. Huh? I mean, all speed is relative, but you know what I mean. Diamond strength rocks, 1.1 megaton per square foot. Removed a parasitic brain implant better than a surgeon, so that's precision. And apparently medical knowledge. I'm gonna move this, it's getting really close to my escape key. I <laughs> had my phone there. Okay. Sounds like right. nobody could beat him. Maybe not, well, but unlike Stan's, Jotaro isn't invincible or invisible. And whenever Jotaro is hurt, Star Platinum feels the same pain. In really? Fact, when a stand user dies, so does their stand. And ah. vice versa. Sure, but with a guy like Star Platinum having his back, I don't think Jotaro has a whole lot to worry about. These two are one kick-ass duo. And stylish. Your receipt. You can keep the freaking change. What does it say? It doesn't tell us what it says! It's the last decade of the 20th century, and the world has been ruined. In this apocalyptic age, the strong survive, I'm not gonna make a and the weak need. Joke. Oh, Only I think I just one did. man challenges this new society. And fortunately, he has the literal power to do it. Kenshiro, Fist of the North Star! Like most important protagonists, <laughs> Kenshiro began his journey to greatness most as a young orphan. Lucky for him, he eventually met Old Man Ryukin, who was a pretty cool dude. Ended up adopting Kenshiro along so with a few other kids. He there. was also the 63rd Denshosha. Don't shoot what? On safety. A grandmaster of an ancient Chinese martial art. 1800 years Shu. old, nice. While anyone can learn the basics of this dangerous fighting style, there can only ever be one to grandmaster the, for um, each generation. So oh, that's what person Kenshiro was 122. set out to be. And with patience, training, mid 20s, and I thought like Kenshiro would be in like his. The next successor of Hakuna Matashin. Too bad his adopted brother got pissed he wasn't chosen and killed Ryukin over it. Talk about a sore loser. Yeah. With Hokuto Shinken Master, Looks like he Kenshiro just kind of focuses his energy the into his strikes, effectively killing an opponent with a single blow to their pressure points. There are 708 malleable pressure points in the human body, and striking any of them can cause all sorts of effects. Stunning, not blinding, healing, restoring memories, making people walk backward. But mostly, they just make people explode. Nice! Anyway, things started looking pretty great for Kenny. He even got Animals a cage. But vehicles. then nuclear war broke out and turned the Earth into Mad Max land. Kinshiro's fiance got kidnapped, and this guy used his knife fingers to draw a nifty big dipper on Kinshiro's chest. Seriously. See, my impression of those was that they were bullet marks. But I also noticed it had the whole, um, it, it said that the... the fighting technique uh, is like Big Dipper Fist or something. Even though it's North Star and that's just one star. Oh god. Uh, Sirius is the... No, Sirius is the dog star. There's Polaris. I am not a very good nerd, am I? <laughs> Uh, okay. How is he not dead after that? Miraculously, Kenshiro survived and began his wayward journey. 
wandering the wasteland. Gotta have a dramatic for revenge. And if we go by how many people he blew up, I'd say he got plenty of it. He really does leave a big mess behind. I can't even imagine what it must be like to clean up after one of his fights. Kenshiro nice. had no problem killing hordes of bad bones like Steve his bone crushing fist, spilling wheel exploding fist, and hundred crack fist. Huh. Seeing him kill all these people from the inside out reminds me a lot of my ex wife. Um, how? Emotionally, whiz. Most of the time, his body explosions. Was her eyes about right to pop away, out of her head? Giving him plenty of time to explain to his foes how they're about to die right before they explode. You think you can beat me with a finger? That finger struck the hidden vital point known as Gakuchu. There's no use fighting now. You're already dead. <laughs> well, Hakuna Matata isn't just for blowing up people. Sure, Kenshiro has developed a number of legendary techniques, Gray such as the Tenryo Kokyuho, aka the art of dragon's breathing. According to Kenshiro, this unlocks the full potential of his natural abilities, where a normal fighter would only use about 30%. He can utilize Toki, or okay. his own natural key, to perform numerous techniques. Most of these involve punching, of course, but he can also create mirage images of himself, sense other fighting auras, and fire hmm. key-based projectiles to attack or defend from a distance. Hang on. He can sense fighting auras. That means he's going to be able to detect star platinum, isn't it? Doesn't it? Bleh. I also remember there was a Batman villain who is... I don't, I don't know if he was based specifically on this guy, but he was based on the pressure points, and... Um, he got Batman right in one that was supposed to kill him, but Batman had uh, studied where this guy was going to hit by looking at the mannequin he was using to fight against and uh, had fortified his armor there, so he faked his death. And Yeah, it was weird. I think the guy threw himself into some lava after that. It was freaky. Anyway. Oh, uh, and he can perform miracles, like making a mute girl speak. <laughs> But even that pales okay. in comparison to Hokuto Shinken's ultimate technique, one which no previous grandmaster ever unlocked, Muso Tensei. Only those who truly understand pain and loss can apply Muso Tensei. With it, Kenshiro All draws right. upon his inner sadness to enter a state of nothingness. From here, and he no one had attacks, essentially achieving ever intangibility. Done he that also somehow connects to the souls of dead allies and rivals, and can even use their techniques. But it's not mm. like he needs them. He's already crazy enough on his own. He smashed the bones of a jump. Let's see. Through a 661-pound man, I assume that's that guy. Hit bullets out of midair, so he's got star platinum speed. Uh, ten tons of concrete and steel. That doesn't stand up to star platinum at all. Carried a 200-ton boulder several miles. We don't know about durability, do we? Uh, as far as... They didn't tell us about star platinum's durability and how long it can keep it up. Those names at the bottom mean nothing to with me. With a single hand, broke a metal yeah. table. Just Survived a thousand tons of collapsing concrete and steel. Big deal. Giovanni did that in the Pokemon anime. <laughs> His headquarters blew up when Mewtwo escaped, and everything fell on top of him, and he came out of it. Yeah. Just by standing up and hit a tank so hard it blew up. Nice. He's even strong enough to break a skyscraper in half. And then when it collapsed on top of him, he just walked through it. What a boss. Just the concrete in one floor of an average sized skyscraper can weigh over 1,000 tons. You think that's tough? Kenshiro can stand in lava! Lava! You know how hot lava is? Up to 2,000. Yeah, really freaking hot, that's what. And remember that tank? Before he blew it up, that it was... shot him square on. Ended up that all... wasn't pure lava though, that that had solidified. Only nothing to him. Seriously, this guy is manly as hell. You're <laughs> you gotta right, do that. The combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, these guys are so stylish, you know they're rocking me undies. And In a world plagued by despair, yeah. darkness, and terrible underwear, there's only one company we trust to keep the balance of stock. Ever a day. All right. Uh. Well, I 
honestly have no idea. Um, it seems... Well, Kenshiro can hit Star Platinum, I assume. Well, no, it doesn't say that he can hit intangible things, but he can sense it. Um, so, yeah, I'm assuming he could definitely kill Jotaro. Um, but it also seems like Jotaro and Star Platinum would be able to kill Kenshiro. I guess also they both have outside help, since Kenshiro can summon those spirits that then you and then use their power, but those spirits can't <sighs> provided the visual was accurate, those spirits can't do anything until they go into him. Um I'm assuming that means that they can't be hit. Um provided the visual was accurate and isn't just some, like, now loading deadperson.exe. Pow! I actually have to keep this on me because otherwise my camera registers everything is too bright and starts doing the flipping again. So, duh. Anyway, oh yeah, now you can start to see the little... Yes, that. Flickering, that's the word I was looking for, not flipping. Anyway, um, I don't know. Um, it seems like Jotaro and Star Platinum are overall stronger and speedier, but Kenshiro strikes me as being more durable, and he could take a considerable amount of damage. Um... Whereas Jotaro's ability to do that is based pretty much entirely on Star Platinum. I've got a friend who's really into JoJo, and he is probably just going to just laugh at <laughs> my assumptions here. So, um, I don't know. I think a lot of it's pretty up in the air for me. <sighs> Oof. Okay. That ain't gonna be very long, is it? Okay, let's... A dead squirrel in the desert. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> is he using clips from the audio clips from the show? もう一時。やるっていうのなら相手になる場所を選ぶ。そこが貴様の死に場所。いや、いくと、ファリアの。ファリアで。もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、も
just happened? Well, all Kenshiro needed to do to win was just get one hit in. But this matchup was far closer than that makes it seem. Of course it was. Kenshiro spent the whole time <laughs> fighting Star Platinum, who he couldn't even see. Lucky for him, once he figured that out, you his ability to see other him. fighting auras helped him keep track of SP. But no matter what he did, fighting Kenshiro spirit. isn't a stand user, so he couldn't actually hurt Star Really? He couldn't? Stands are officially described as physical manifestations of fighting spirit. Now, does that mean just physical fighting spirit, or does, like, someone with a great deal of willpower and, like, fighting the man uh, count? Platinum. Then again, Star Platinum's own strength wasn't quite enough to hurt Kenshiro much either. One of I Star Platinum's see. greatest strength feats involves breaking and throwing a small section of a building. Huh. In comparison, Kenshiro broke an Kenshiro entire run building, after let him? it fall on him, and acted like it wasn't even there. Also, while Jotaro may be skilled in deducing his enemy's weaknesses and strategies in mid-fight, Kenshiro's skills, durability, and straightforward approach meant there really wasn't anything for him to pick apart here. Kenshiro did have trouble with Jotaro's time-stopping and Star Platinum's speed. However, with his awesome durability plus additional intangibility in his weakness of Tensei, Kenshiro survived the time-stops. And the time stops cooldowns between uses gave Kenshiro enough time to work around them. The time stop has been worked around by foes in Jotaro's past before. And as far as speed was concerned, Kenshiro may not have been faster than Star, but a mix of Mutsu Tensei and Mirage clones were more than enough to get by. And let's be real, Jotaro never stood a chance against Kenshiro by himself. In the well, end, both yeah. combatants had plenty of advantages, but Kenshiro's techniques and overwhelming power ended this fight. Jojo didn't stand a chance. The winner is <laughs> Kenshiro. Hey guys, thanks for watching this death battle. If you want to see exclusive commentary, click that link right over there. And uh, if you guys want to pick up the fight track for this episode, link in the description. Okay, all right, hang on. Hang on. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, okay, Crash. Oh, uh, golly, Crash versus Conquer? Spyro? Oh, that's going to be funny. Okay, so again, I don't really have much to say. Um, it, I guess it didn't really come down to the whole outside help aspect, but then I guess a stand really isn't outside help after all, because it's just a manifestation of your own spirit. Because I was wondering about that. I was wondering if that, um, was counted as being outside. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of neutral on this one just because I don't have any real, like, attachment to any of the characters next time i also don't have an attachment to any of the characters but i also have a feeling that i'm gonna that it's gonna be sillier <sighs> pardon uh i'm wondering what happened to all the 3d battles where did those go i mean batman versus black panther was the series or the the season opener and usually those are cg we have not gotten one literally since last season literally since last year oh uh! anyway my uh my audio sync seems to be off yes it is definitely off i don't know what's happening here anyway kumari khan is the last week of october in portland if you ever want to come by um, yeah, I mean, I knew it was as simple as one hit, but it also seems like Jotaro just kind of stood there. I mean, come on, he's a delinquent. He's a thug. He's supposed to get out there and fight, you know? And uh, I don't know, I just kind of was expecting him to throw down physically a little more, even if that meant just moving around so Star Platinum could have greater power at, at wherever it had moved to. Yeah, you have beautiful voices today, little budgies. <laughs> I gotta go take care of everyone. Um, 
I don't know, that did sound cool. <laughs> they basically just fought for absolutely no reason. Just this guy shows up in a, like, sand speeder, jeep, whatever. Does like, okay, we're gonna fight to the death just because you're here. <laughs> Didn't even, like... Actually, I assume that the Joe Stars were there to get whatever was in the pyramid, but I don't think that was well. No, it wasn't said. And uh, yeah, it was just. <gasps> oh man, I do not get enough sleep. When I say this is first thing in the morning, I mean it's after one in the afternoon. Insomnia is a bitch. Okay, it is. But it's a whole kennel of bitches. <laughs> uh, it, um, yeah, I can't get to sleep till like after four, sometimes after six. Last week there was a time I didn't sleep at all. I was so tired and I still had like five hours worth of chores to do the next day. Oh. <sighs> Anyway, I actually forgot there was a death battle today. Last night I was all, oh, there's a new death battle tomorrow, yay! And then this morning I woke up and I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, I had a feeling they were going to end it on a on that on that famous line. Um, it used to be that the meme was saying it in English. You're already dead. And now, for some reason, everyone switched over to Japanese. I don't know. Um, everyone go watch uh, Kenshiro vs. Cell by, DB by um, Team Four Star. It's part of their lead up to the Cell games in DBC over uh. Spoilers, it's a darn good thing for Cell that he can regenerate. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I guess like I have to go eat breakfast and all of that. So I will see you all in three weeks. Well, I mean, I'm definitely going to make a video before then, but yeah, um, I will see you then. I'm probably going to make a video on what stages I want to see in the new Smash game. Um, <laughs> the only one I'm willing to share with you right now is Distortion World, but yeah. All right. See ya! Da, 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 da.